The topic is method of images. The method of images is the another way to determine the electric potential V, electric field intensity E, electric flux density D and surface charge density rho s due to charges in the presence of conductor. Now with the help of method of images we can avoid solving the Poisson's or Laplace equation. So this is another way to determine the potential without solving the Poisson's and Laplace equation. So the method of images is under the image theory which states that if there is any charge configuration above an infinite conducting plane which is grounding heavy potential zero. So that given charge configuration can be replaced by its image itself and that perfect conducting plane get replaced by an equipotential surface having potential zero. So this is a method of images. So here we consider a charge configuration in the form of point charge, line charge density and volume charge density that are above a perfect conducting plane having potential zero means it is grounded. So by using a method of images that charge configuration having an image. Point charge Q has image minus Q, rho L has image minus rho L and minus rho V has image plus rho V and this perfectly conducting plane is replaced by equipotential surface having potential zero. So figure A is the charge configuration above a perfectly conducting plane and after applying the method of images the figure B that is image configuration with conducting plane that is replaced by equipotential surface. So with the help of method of images we can expect it that the charge configuration has image and the perfect conducting plane is replaced by some equipotential surface. So, while applying the method of images, two conditions must always be satisfied. The first condition is the image charge or charges must be located in the conducting region. The second condition is the image charges or charge must be located such that on the conducting surface or surfaces the potential is zero or constant means the conducting surface having a potential of zero when the image charge is located in the conducting region. So these are the two conditions which must be satisfied in applying the method of images. Here the first condition is the necessary to satisfy the Poisson's equation while the second condition ensures that all the boundary conditions are satisfied. So, the first is we consider a point charge. That point charge is situated above a perfectly conducting plane that is grounded having a potential zero. So, here Q is the point charge and having a height H. Here we consider height with respect to Z axis. So, after applying the method of images, we have the image of this positive charge. This positive charge has image that is minus Q and this perfect conducting plane is replaced by equipotential surface. So we know that the field lines are originate from positive charge and terminate to negative charge. Here negative charge is the image that is expected. So these are the field lines and image configuration. So our task is to determine the electric field at point P and second we have to determine the potential at point P and third 
we have to determine the surface charge density rho s. So, one by one we talk about these. The first one is we have to determine the electric field at point P. So, this point P having a distance vector R1 with respect to positive charge Q and distance vector R2 with respect to image charge that is minus Q. So, the total electric field at point P is the electric field due to positive charge plus electric field due to image charge that is minus Q charge. So, we know that the electric field is equals to Q upon 4 pi epsilon naught R unit vector R. So, we apply this formula. So, in terms of unit vector, unit vector equals to vector upon its magnitude. So, we get this equation. So, this is the electric field in terms of distance vector. So, this distance vector R1 and R2 is having a coordinates. R1 has coordinates x, y, z minus h and R2 has a coordinates x, y, z plus h. So, after putting the value of R1 and R2 vector in above equation, we get this resultant equation. So, this is a electric field at point P due to point charge with the help of method of images. Now, here we note one point when z equals to 0, z equals to 0 means on the equipotential surface. We see that electric field E has only z component means from above equation E, we see that the x and y components are cancelled because there is minus sign in between while the z component at z equals to 0, the z component is only h with minus sign. So, here minus h and here is also minus that is minus 2h yield vector z. This is in the numerator term while in denominator we have only x square plus y square plus h square having under root and whole bracket to power 3. So, uh, when z equals to 0 that is on the equipotential surface, electric field has only z component means the electric field is normal to the surface, conducting surface. So, in this way we can determine the electric field E with the help of method of images. The second is we can also determine the potential at point P. For this we use a formula V equals to minus E dot dl. Here the potential again the potential is the total potential is the combination of potential due to positive charge and the potential due to image charge that is minus charge. So, we know that uh, the potential equals to Q upon 4 pi epsilon naught into R that is distance. So, accordingly we apply this formula and we know that R1 and R2 are the magnitude of distance vector R1 and R2 respectively. So, accordingly we apply the magnitude. So, in this way we can also determine the potential. Now, the third one, we can also determine the surface charge density rho s of the induced charge. Now, we know that electric field has only z component and the surface charge density rho s is equals to normal component of electric flux density d. So, in this way d equals to epsilon naught e. So, 
E has only normal component. Okay, at z equals to zero. Now after applying and with the help of above observation, that is z component only with E, we get this equation. Now this is a surface charge density rho s. With the help of surface charge density rho s, we can determine the total induced charge on the infinite conducting plane. So, the charge Q can be determined with the help of surface charge density. So, it is equals to induced charge Q equals to surface integration rho s into ds. Rho s is given. Now, what about ds? ds is the differential surface. As we know that the conducting plane has a normal direction that is towards z direction. So, ds in xyz that is ds vector equals to dx into dy unit vector z means differential vector ds has only z component. So, we put in here in place of ds. But to solve this induced charge, we required a transformation you know, from Cartesian to cylindrical system. So, we know that rho square equals to x square plus y square. Rho is the radius of the cylinder. And again, the differential surface in cylindrical coordinate system with respect to z is given by ds vector equals to rho d rho d phi unit vector z. So, these are the transformation from Cartesian to cylindrical. After applying these transformation and the limits of integration also change, that is the rho, the radius is having a limit that is from 0 to infinity and the phi angle of a cylindrical system is always 0 to 2 pi. So, after having transformation we get this equation and to solve this double integration that is surface integration we assume that rho d rho equals to 1 upon 2 d rho square. So, after assuming this we can solve the double integration and in this way we can solve this and after solving this, we get the total induced charge is equals to minus Q. And here it is expected because we know that the flux line that is originated from positive charge must be terminated to some negative charge if the conductor is absent. There is alternate way to solve the total induced charge. So, here after transforming we get this equation. So, the variable with respect to phi is taken separate. So, we get integration d phi having limit 0 to 2 pi and this is equals to 2 pi only. So, the remaining is the integration with respect to rho. Now, for this, we assume that, we simply assume that rho square plus h square equals to u square. u is another variable. Since the height h is constant, the charge is situated at constant position. So, h is constant. So, its differential that is rho square equals to u square. That 2 rho d rho equals to 2u du. So, in place of rho d rho, we can put u d u. Okay. And accordingly, the limits are changed. When rho equals to 0, u equals to h, while rho equals to infinity, u equals to infinity. So, after changing the limits, that is from h equals to infinity and integrate with respect to u, we get total charge induced is equals to minus q. So, in this way, we can determine the image of positive charge is minus q. So, it is expected 
the field lines originate from positive charge and terminate to negative charge when the conducting plane is absent.